This next stretch is what I call the pretzel stretch. And the, object, the objective is to uh, bring your knee as far to the floor as you can. Don't rush it, go slow in slow increments. Take your right foot, place it over your left knee. Take your left hand, put it on the front of your foot. Take your right hand, put it on your knee. You want to push down and pull up slowly and you should feel it in your hip. Right leg, right hip. Pull up, push down. Pull up, push down. You should try to get it down as far as you can. Pull up, push down. And it really loosens up that hip area. Pull up and push down. In basketball, you want to be very limber. And it's good to do stretches that make you limber. Pull up, push down. Keep your back straight. Pull up, push down. Come out of it slowly. Leg down, switch legs, left leg. Over right knee. Right hand, front of the foot, left hand, left knee. Once again, you should feel tightness in your left hip. Push down, pull up. Keep your back straight. Push down, pull up. Push down, pull up. This is called the pretzel drill. Pull down, switch, and you do it again. Right leg over left leg. And one side will be more loose than the other side. Pull down, or pull up, push down. Pull up, push down. Really feel it. Keep your back straight. And switch. Remember, come out of the pretzel slowly so we don't tweak our muscles in the process. Pull up, push down. Pull up, push down. It's a great stretch for your hips. Keep your back straight. And come out of it slowly. And the reason we do that drill, or the reason we do that stretch in professional basketball is again, to loosen your hips up. You wanna have loose hips in order to change directions well. If you're tight in your hips nine times out of 10, you won't be able to change directions that well. Again, that is the pretzel stretch. Getting ready for action.